Hello, everybody, and welcome back for interactive problem number six. Uh, so this hand, we start with us opening one spade. Our left-hand opponent jumps to two no trump, unusual two no trump, and our partner bid three spades. Our opponents bid four clubs. We bid four spades, hoping to buy it there. They bid five clubs. It went pass, pass, and we did something that we don't normally do. We bid five over five, uh, and now here we are. We found ourselves in five spades and we need to make five spades. So if this is your first interactive problem you've ever come across of mine, you can actually play these hands on my website and then w and then come back and watch the video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the link in the description. And if you're on my website, there's just on the, on the side panel, there should be a button that says play this hand and come back and see me. So here we are, we're in five spades. We really need to make five spades. And unfortunately, we have what seems like three losers. We have a club loser and we have two diamond losers. And um, normally, we'd look at this heart suit and say, hey, this heart suit could just be 3-3 three, three, and we'll make this contract. And But unfortunately, the unusual 2 no Trump has told us a lot about the distribution. And this is one of the reasons I'm going to say that I'm not a huge fan of bidding unusual 2 no Trump every single time you have 5-5 five, five, because it really does help declare. And now watch how it should help us on this hand. So we know lefty is 5-5 five, five in the minors, so they probably don't have three hearts. So instead, we should start thinking about the idea of instead of playing for hearts 3-3, three, three, we have a nice 10-9 of hearts over there in dummy that we can use to finesse east out of the jack of hearts if they have it. And if east has four and west has two, there's a 66% chance that the jack is with that four card suit compared to the jack being in the doubleton. Just think of the simple probability. If it's four out of six slots for the jack, and so that's 66% chance. And it's possible the hearts are even 5-1, in which case it's incredibly likely that, that the, the jack is with the five card suit. So... Uh, the plan on this hand should be to go to dummy and finesse the heart through east. But unfortunately, we're going to need two entries to the dummy. We can't just get there and finesse. The ten of hearts is going to hold the trick, but our hearts are going to block. So uh, I'm going to show you all the cards now. And, and so you can see the layout of the hand. And it goes small club, five, small. And then they continue with another club and... We are going to rough it. But here's opportunity number one to make a mistake. If you trumped with the four of spades, you now only have one entry to the dummy. You cannot get there twice. And let's watch how why we needed it. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to put rough with the nine to keep that entry. Now I'm going to cash a spade, and as soon as I cash one spade and I see West has a spade, now I know for sure that the hearts are not breaking 3-3, three, three, because once West had a spade, they don't have three hearts, because they are 5-5. Five, five. So now I can cross, we cross, oops, sorry, before we do that, we should cash the king of hearts just to make sure it's not a singleton jack. And you might say, but what if they rough it? Yeah, that's possible. We're paying off to a rough uh, at, uh, six zero hearts, but it's more likely hearts are singleton jack than than six zero. Just in the math of things, they're both very very small chances. But it's the the more extreme the break, the less likely it is that to be happening. So we cash the king just to make sure we don't lose to a singleton jack. Then we play another spade to dummy, and here you see we use the eight of spades. There is our entry. Now, why did we need two entries? Well. What, this is why. We're now going to lead the Ten of Hearts through East and finesse the hand who has four of them. Now, if you lost to the Doubleton Jack of Hearts, it's just the cost of doing business. This is math. It's it's just more likely it's with East. It's, sometimes you're going to take these positions, and it's going to be wrong, but you should feel good knowing you made a, a good math play. And um, But now, you see, we have to come across to our Queen of Hearts, and now we need to get back to dummy. So that's why we needed to get the dummy twice. And you can see now we take the king of spades and we cash the ace of hearts and say goodbye, diamond loser, and we make our contract. So this hand was about understanding the distribution, recognizing what was going on, realizing that the jack of hearts was very, very likely to be on that side with the with the uh, with with the heart length and playing for it. Now there was another cool way to make this hand. So I'm going to go back to the part where where uh, after the third trick we cashed, we went over to the eight of spades, 
and we're in dummy. It turns out from here, instead of finessing the heart, we had another, it's called a partial end play, uh, where we could have actually trumped the last club in dummy, and we can try the heart to see if the jack falls, uh, but in, abandon the heart suit, and now just play a heart to dummy's ace. And now, as long as we keep a trump in both hands, we could have led a diamond to the jack and queen. And so, and now you can see that no matter what West leads, they are end played. If they play back a diamond, we can win the 10. But there's a chance, obviously, that the king would be on the other side or the queen, depending on which honor they won. Uh, or if they play back a club, we can trump it in the dummy and slough our diamond loser. So, so there was two. There were two ways to go about this hand. Uh, there were, but it, there were, it was a good exercise in thought and, and a good exercise in counting out the distribution. When you when you know that that uh, that they've um, sorry when when you know that they've that they've got five five in the minors. I've, I've lost the left hand card there. I see that the, the king of spades. The, the, oh no, I got it. There we go. When they, sorry, when they know when they know, when you know that they're five five in the minors, that tells you a lot about the distribution. Uh, I I'm going to try and share more hands just like this in the future. Uh, if this is your first time uh, using interactive problems, please spread the word with other people. Send them a link. Tell them they need a free a free account to access the website. I'm doing this to get more people to know about my lessons and more people to know about my stuff. So please just uh, click. The, Share the link. Send it by email to all your British friends. Hey, try this handout. It's free. You can just free account play. Thank you very much for, for spreading the word. See you guys next time.